So yeah, we're gonna start from preseason roster. <coughs> well, this is our channel. Welcome back. Um, today we're gonna be doing a Madden career. Yeah. Um, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, turn on those post notifications so that you know when the next video could comes out. Yeah. With you simply. I want you to be our starting quarterback, and I'm talking from day one. If you work hard, you focus, and you commit. You're not only going to graduate here with a four-year degree, we're going to win a national championship together. All right. Let's start out with this. Oh, yes, guys. Where should I be from? <clears throat> Let's do a town in. Town in. Give me a second. No, I think it's Agarol Hills. Oh god, they just go to this hills. Guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without, them. I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who held me along the way. It's because of them. I want to thank everyone for showing up today. It's because of all you guys that I'm even in this. I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who held me along the way. It's because of them. That hey, don't forget to thank your mom. Never forget to thank your mom. Mike, tell me where you're going to be signing. Actually, it's why I'm hiding in here. Well, I know you'll make the right choice. And if you need any advice, <laughs> I'm always here. That's as weird as man sitting in the stall. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, anytime. Actually, I've been meaning to run into you. Do. Hello? Hello? I already know what I want to go with LSU. Oh yeah. Ready, set, 
Here we go. With this team's star starting quarterback out, they're turning to a kid who's never taken a snap in college. Not once. Look, their game plan isn't complicated. Drop back, scan the field, and throw it to Isaiah Street. That's what got them to the college football playoff, and that's what's going to keep them in this game. Drop back, scan, and throw. We're not sure the new kid could do any of these things. Don't you think that's a little harsh, Nate? Four years ago, he was a five-star recruit. They had high hopes for this kid. I does not say something right there. What happened to that trust? Alright. Coach, you want to see me? Come in. I want you to be the first to know that Marcus Washington decommitted last night. And he's coming here. What? That doesn't make any sense. You said I was gonna be the starter. He's the number one recruit in the country, son. And there's no guarantees in college football. I'm sorry. Dang, disrespectful. I'm not going anywhere. Bring him in. I'll win the job. You'll see. Watch this on my car. If you're the coach, how do you let five-star talent waste away on the bench for this long? No, no, no. Better question is, if you're a young five-star recruit, why do you stay with a coach that doesn't play? Because he's got something to prove. To who? To that coaching staff, man. I mean, the same group of guys who spent the last four years telling him you're not good enough, he's got to prove it to those guys. I think this. All right, gentlemen, like Coach and I always say, the second you step off this bus, you're on a business trip. We got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. And coaches only. Let's go with. I'm here to play Florida. What? The Gators. Yeah. You? <laughs> Thank this. What's your name? Quarterback. What? Yeah. Mm. Uh, excuse me. You're the quarterback, right? Yeah. Oh, don't look so surprised. Uh, it's my job to know the roster. I'm Taylor Bennett. I'm working the sidelines tonight. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. Do you mind Hello, asking one. Any questions? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna record them. Okay. All right. So we all know your situation tonight, but we really don't know much about you as a quarterback. How would you describe your style of play? Oh, um, well, uh, oh, man. Hey, what's up, man? Well, I've always had a big arm, so just throw it deep. Let my receivers get under it. Okay. Now, how about your personality? Or better yet, how would your teammates describe you? How my teammates describe me? Yeah, were you intense, you were cutthroat, uh, a great leader, a jokester? Give me something. I guess you could say I always stay engaged with my teammates. 
as you go about the week, I want to make sure everyone's prepared and ready to do their job when we come there for game day. So a real team first, team player guy. Yeah, sure, you can say that. Yo, Taylor. Hey, can I borrow him for a second? Oh, yeah. Cool. Wait, hold up. You're a Heisman voter, right? Hey, I'm coming for that award next year. Look out for me. Oh, I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen. You ready, right? Yeah, man. Yeah? Because winning a national championship means everything to me. All right, I made a promise to my brother. And since I can't throw the ball to myself, we need to be on the same page, you feel me? I got you, man. Gotcha. That was the touch pass. Set. 60 Pittsburgh. Set. Dang, that line now was funny. Sometimes you can jerk over you. Did that wrong? I'm so confused. Catch. And you do that tonight, and we move on. Alright, guys, got through that. We'll get through the next. Alright, 
Mike, I just talked to Coach. He insists on going with a simplified game plan for you tonight. What do you think? Well, his thinking is we keep it simple, you don't get overwhelmed, and then we rely on the defense to do their part. Wait, hold on. This, this is a joke? All right, look, Coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. No, this ain't high school ball, man. All right, this is the semifinals. If we go out there and simplify, they're going to destroy us. Come on, this is crazy, right? Right? Agreed. Coach needs to wake up. I'm ready for this. Man, forget about him, man. Listen, I don't care how much you played. You're a leader on this team. <sighs> That's not Leaders, true. Sometimes they have to do what's right, even if they don't like it. Got it, Coach. I got you. <laughs> yeah? The 2018 college football season has been a wild one, and we are now down to four as EA Sports is proud to welcome you to AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Tonight, it's the first of our college football playoff semifinal matchups as we'll see the Florida Gators taking on the LSU Tigers. What's up, bro? Good luck tonight. Thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes will be talking into your league. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. Yeah. I will, yes, sir. For the right, right to guys. play for a national championship next Monday night in Santa Clara, we are underway from Arlington in the national playoff semifinal. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Here we go, his first collegiate snap. What a spot as the Tigers come up first and 10. Yeah. They will let him throw here on the very first play. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Crack. The Tigers of LSU looking for their fourth hey. title in school history. They were champs way back in 1958 hey. and twice in this century so far, 2003 and 2007. Step. Now a loose football. Coleman lost Wait, it. Wait, what? Will be scooped up by the I defense. slid. There is no way. He gained really good yardage, but that's what you took. Your quarterbacks, oh. right? Get down after you got the run. You don't have to prove your toughness. You know, I think that's what a lot of coaches are trying to preach to their guys. Get the yardage, get down, protect the Half time is and protect yourself from extra hits as well. Half time is where we're gonna end this video, guys. Join back tomorrow to see the come back tomorrow. Four yards. Uh, For the Gators, they are in towards, search of their fourth maybe. national title in school One. history. They lifted the trophy for the first time back in 96. The second and then most recently, game. they were champions in 2006 and again in 2008. This will be a carry for Clements. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Reddick sends to throw it. He's going to float this one. Deep Why is he open? Line, the catch is made. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The Gators now with a first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. 
That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case oh, of ball, get ball. They'll try to run this one in. Keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in. Touchdown Gators. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Gators have taken the early lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Fielded about a yard deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. They go play action here on first down. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Well, Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, You've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I forget what I was supposed to be passing Back to throw now on second and ten. Ah! But now he's swallowed up and taken down. I think that's an example of how the game speed is different than in practice. Because in practice, you might not be going full speed. A lot of guys in shorts coming your way. So it's going to be a big key to see how he adjusts to how the speed really picks up in this game and if he's able to get rid of the football. And think about it, Charles. That's the first time he's hit the ground with a sack since his high school days. He played in a couple spring games, but those were non-contact for the quarterback. Yeah, they're wearing a different color jersey. No one hits the QB, even in the spring game. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Back to throw. Coleman. He can run for it, and he will. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And it'll be a turnover. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not playing very right. good right, very so good right now. Just on their side He's tired. I should have done this in the morning, but I tried to get some to today. I haven't been boating. I know I have been, but I'm pretty tired. I'll give you that. One that's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. First week of the preseason, probably not the pass, the impression that the rookie <laughs> wants to leave right there. Yeah, no probably about it, because that's not what you want to do to try and pressure new coaching staff, try to impress your locker room, and most importantly, and a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Dancing to his left. Wait, what? He's taken down. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a... And he's going to go down again. Bro! I can't even move in this pocket. Now remember, they were unsuccessful earlier in this first quarter. Going for it on fourth. They're going to try a second time. After one, seven, nothing. On EA Sports. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. There's this out for streets. And got his man complete. Accelerating, and off he goes. And he is into the end zone for an LSU touchdown. 
we were setting up and going over our run-throughs early this afternoon, and I'm talking six hours before kickoff. We saw Isaiah Streets out there alone with just his young quarterback and center going through all sorts of different routes, making sure that they had everything ironed out, and it pays off there on the touchdown throw. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. All right, guys. Five. Ready to begin their next drive. Here's very the tired, actually. The tail of two Usually I'm not tired, but right now I'm pretty tired. Opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. First and 10, Florida. They'll run with Clements. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now Reddick. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know, when you're at the end spot, you are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go. And he jumped a little bit too early. On the ground, it's Clements. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain there on first and five, and it leaves him with a more standard second down. On second down. It's Jennings. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Here is Reddick. They go screenplay with Jennings. And he will score. Touchdown, Florida. A 15-yard touchdown ground. And the Gators push that lead out a bit further. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, wherever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. But Charles, so much of this offense the last few years centering around the combination of Marcus Washington and Isaiah Streets. Streets saying Washington's like a second brother to him. And, of course, many know the story. Isaiah's older brother, Ezekiel, tremendous athlete in his own right, but lost too soon to leukemia a year ago next week at the age of 20. And that is really a gut-wrenching story, as you know. If you look back at their high school days, right here in Texas, just outside of Houston, Zeke was the star quarterback, a four-year starter, 8,000 passing yards. Isaiah, a year younger, he was the receiver. The two of them told recruiters, you know we're a package deal, so if you're coming to get us, you're getting both of us. And Zeke actually recruited by... And that is caught. It's an LSU touchdown. Isaiah Streets. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. As his guys have cut the lead down to two. LSU lining up here to go for two. They're going to keep it on the ground. 
And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. So now, Charles, two touchdowns, two tries at two-point conversions, and both fail. And you want to say, let's go ahead and run the kicker out there from now on. But the problem is you're chasing points yeah. at this stage. So now you've got to dial up more two-point conversions and hope you're successful from here on out. Oh, he's got a little daylight. There he goes, right side. And he takes it in for a Gator touchdown. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. On first and 10, Coleman. Airs this out for Streets. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he is into the end zone for an LSU touchdown. So a blistering start to this first half. We wondered how this young quarterback would handle the pressure, and there is a lot of pressure. Well, how about three first-half touchdown passes? They'll look to throw on the move to his left. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Tried to roll out and make a play outside of the pocket, but couldn't get it done. When you don't have a lot of space for your receivers to operate, and down there it's really condensed when you're snapping the ball from the two-yard line, rolling out, you extend the play, but you don't necessarily open up better avenues for people. And on that play, there's just nowhere to go with the ball, and you end up getting sacked. The Gator offense about ready to get this next drive started. Still more than a minute to go, so yeah, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second and one. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Looking to throw. Looking sideline incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let it just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. He's going to float this one deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. And he takes it in for a Gator touchdown. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his... Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. This is going the other way. It's a foot race. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt. Unsuccessful. I know it's easy to kind of shrug off a blocked extra point, but this game is shaping up to be a tight one. The second half, this could prove crucial. Yeah, we might look back on this one. We'll have to wait and see. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Airs this out for Streets. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Isaiah Streets, the intended target, and it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw. Coleman. 
He may try and run for this. Apart from Kyler Murray, not too many mobile QBs in this year's rookie class, but some good scrambling there to get the first. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy, make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first. That's caught inside the 20. Oh, the big play's going to get even bigger as penalty flags are down, and I believe they're going to get a face mask penalty tacked on. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Back to throw. Coleman. Forced out to his left. To the goal line, but it's in. All right, guys. So, yeah, I told you halftime. It's halftime. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, I'll see you guys later to, to mar later in the morning. Peace out. Watch out for episode two.